Hi, Stamping Friends. It's Marilyn here with Stamping Creations with Marilyn, coming to you from Spruce Grove, Alberta, Canada. Nice to have you join me tonight on a Thursday evening. I have um, been creating all day. I have some samples to share with you, similar to what we're going to make tonight. And I have a few specials and Stampin' Up! things that are happening to share with you as well. So welcome. If you haven't been here before, I am a Stampin' Up! independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Have been for almost 14 years, so I'm loving what I do. And if you want to hear more about it, just send me a message and I'll be happy to share with you. And I'm happy to share lots of our different pro products with you and projects with you as well. I do have a YouTube channel where I upload this video to afterwards and uh, you can can head on over there and like my channel and subscribe to it and whatever and get information and updates whenever I post something over there. I'm always researching other ways of sharing with you. I have looked at doing YouTube lives, uh, may tackle that someday. but. For now, I'm going to keep doing them on Facebook here, and most of the time it will be on the Thursday evenings. However, next Thursday is July 1st here in Canada, so that is a holiday, and I'm not sure how many people would be around to watch then, so next week I'm going to revert back to my Tuesday afternoon, so just to keep you on your toes and keep an eye on where I'm at. So I presume you have heard that today is free shipping from Stampin' Up! So anything that um, you order today, up until 11.59 Mountain Time tonight, will be free shipping. So I have yet to place my order, but I will as soon as I am through with this. And I hope that you've placed an order uh, with your demonstrator, or if you want to place one through me yet, you still can do that. There's all kinds of information on my Facebook page, my website, that kind of thing, and I will share your host code with you shortly because I do have it on my desktop. So, hello, Terry, hello, Tracy, hello, Norma. Good to see you all. I've seen those names go by as I'm busy chatting with you. So, um, I'm going to switch you down to my desktop and I will um, make sure I'm in the right spot and get started with the card I want to share with you today. It's using designer paper. I love my designer paper, so I hope you do too. So, Bear with me while I turn the camera around. You get to see the other side of my office. Office. My craft room. It's not really an office. And that is pretty much my desktop right there. So let's um, look at what's on the desk here to begin with. First of all is the last chance sale. And that has been going on for about a month now or whatever so lots of um hello debbie good to see you're here too thanks for joining me um the sale of 50 percent off some of the items are sold out some are still there and of course today being free shipping you can get a great deal if you have some items on your list yet that are there in conjunction with that this mini catalog is going to be finished at the end of june so if there's anything in there, hello, Deborah, welcome. Uh, anything in there that you want, um, as I flip through it, you can see I've got orange marked on the things that are retiring. If they're still available, they're, they're great to get. I haven't looked at the, the list recently to see what's, what's sold out and what's still available, but that great options there. And I can show you this. We have a new mini catalog coming. Yay! Yay! This is what we call the holiday mini. As you can see, this is the front of it. I, As demonstrators, we are allowed to see it, but we can't show you anything more than the cover. And we can show you products when we can get them, but we cannot order those until July 1st. So I will be looking into this. I have printed what I want and there's also another celebration in conjunction with this. So if you do not have a demonstrator and you live in Canada, I'd love to be that person for you. So send me a message and I will add you to my list for sending catalogs out. So the host code 
is here. If you're ordering and your order is under $200, I would appreciate you using that host code and I will certainly acknowledge your order. And my ribbon is coming off my bookmark. And today, um, at the end of today, I will do the draw for the winner of the card that we made last week, which is this one. If you recall, we did case the catalog. So we had the very basic, then we had one that was stepped up a little bit, and then one that was really stepped up using different coloring options and whatever. So I have that card to give away at the end of today. I have all the names of anyone who commented on that post in my wheel of names and we will I'll show you that winning person when we get to the end. But before we get there, I want to share with you this bundle that I'm going to use today. It's called Color and Contour. And a bundle means that you save 10%. You get the dies as well as the stamp set. So a close-up of the stamp set. Oh, thanks, Terry. Um, it is a two-step, so this fits in here, this fits over there. Not perfectly, but that's the way it's designed. And they have some beautiful script writing. Just great, great for lots of different things. I love this set. And this is the dies. These are the dies, this. These are the dies that, that come with it. So you have this that will cut out this and this flower cuts out this and then you have lots of different shapes happening here and I am using uh, one of them today and I'll just show you what the bigger one oh this is the the flower I just when I have extra pieces like this I just leave them in the stamp set and this is the bigger die with the scalloped edges and Stampin' Up! has now started with printing where the the dies go on the back of the insert so that you can you know if you're missing any and for some of us over the years we have lost things and that's a great thing to have so so lots of samples in here that we can uh, case as we call it copy and share and let's get started so for my card today And, hello, Karen. Can't get in for some reason. Do you mean into the website? Hopefully not, because I still have to make my order. So, anyway, not to worry about that right at the moment. I'll deal with that later if I need be. I have written out the sizes in case you want them, and I will put them in the, the header of this post afterwards. But I am using the hydrangea paper, and that's not quite what it's called, I know, but... It is the one I'm out of that bundle. And that paper is retiring at the end of the month. So to start with, I have a piece. Um, before I get further, just want to share that I have got this pattern, um, sketch, whatever you want to call it, from Frenchie Stamps, France Martin. She is a million dollar seller from the US and she has some great ideas, great plans. And I just fell in love with this one. I did watch Tina Zink do one as well. And when I show you the, the other cards that I've made, I will, or even this one maybe if I remember, I'll mention a couple of things that Tina did that was a little bit different. So I have the 12 inches by five and a quarter. Just a word of caution when you're doing this one is that it's going to sit this way, like it's gonna be up and down. So if you have a paper that really runs up and down, you wanna be aware of that. And we're gonna score it at two, five, and eight. So on my scoreboard, I have my markers in. And I'm going to score it. And for designer paper, when you score it, you have to be careful that you're not overzealous with your pressing. You can see the score lines there. And it is thinner than our cardstock, so therefore, if you're too have too much pressure, you are going to end up tearing it. So I score it, then I'm going to fold on those score lines. 
and I see Maria and Deborah. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. I'm going, it doesn't matter which way you fold to begin with. You can decide afterwards which side of this designer paper you want to have showing the most. So that is my fancy fold designer paper. And that's the way I'm going to do this one. But if you flipped it, I'll just quickly show you that. If I can figure it out. Nope. Duh. There. That way would be the other way. And you would have this on the back and this in the front. So I guess it doesn't matter which way you fold it to begin with. You can always reverse it. So that's our first step. Oh my goodness, that's a dirty piece of paper. Then I have a, this is, uh, let me see for, this is Gorgeous Grape. I picked just one of the colors that was in here and you can find those colors on the back of the designer paper. And it's going to go like this, but I'm gonna do some other things first. So it's five and a half by four and a quarter, our usual size of a card. For the, the inserts, we have a two, five by two and three quarters, another five by two and three quarters, and a five by one and three quarters. And they're all gonna go on the inside here. And I'm going to stamp, I'm gonna leave this one blank so I can write on it. This one I'm going to stamp with the flower, some words, and show you how the, the um, petals of a flower go inside the outline. And this one's just going to have some more words on it, so I will remove my little yellow stickers and we'll do a little bit of stamping. So I found that I liked the evergreen, whoops, find the right end, evening evergreen for my outline. And without trying to, whoa, shaking the, the table. I'm just going to stamp that. Photopolymer, I like to leave down on the paper just a little bit longer than most of the time. I'll leave that open because I am going to use it again. Then I am going to take the words that are you're absolutely amazing and match the ink to the card base and this is just the way I designed this um, when Frenchie did it on hers what did she do she did um, she used some black I don't remember exactly but as We've always told you, you can, uh, it's your card. You can design it however you like. So I'm going to use a lighter um, Highland Heather, so it's a lighter purple, and it's also in that designer paper. And when you use this set, it does not match perfectly. So you just line it up kind of like that, and I use this little one at the top here just to, so it's a little bit darker, could have stamped off, which I'm going to do for one of the other sections. And that's all the stamping I'm gonna do on that piece that goes there. So then on this one, I there's also in that set some dots. And I don't know, I guess dots is a good description for that. So I'm going to take again the lighter one and I'm gonna stamp once and stamp off. So quite often we call that second generation stamping. You can do a little or a lot. And I just wanted some background on there. And then I'm going to take the same color that I used here, which is gorgeous grape so it's a little bit darker and place it 
just in the center. And it should show up, and it does. And the, let me think for a minute. I did not, I have done my um, greeting that's going to go on the belly band. I did it before and used the cut and emboss machine to cut it out. So, so that's basically my pieces. And I'll show you how, what the other thing that, that I was so excited about today was I needed three graduation cards. I have three, get this, I'm not old, really. I have three great grandchildren, not grandchildren, nieces and nephews graduating this year. And I wanted to honor them. Um, one of them is my nephew's daughter here in Alberta. And we were lucky enough to watch her receive her diploma on um, a virtual platform that they shared the link to us with us. And the other two are a brother and sister. Uh, my husband's niece's children in Ontario. And we didn't watch their graduation ceremony, but we were able to see some grad pictures that they did and those were on Facebook so that was was really special to be part of that and we have met the Ontario relatives so I want to wanted to honor them so I that's why this is you're absolutely amazing so happy for you and you'll notice that I want to make sure that I'm close to the edge and I'll just show you why in a moment. I like to burnish that from the back side so that I'm not running my hands over the inked part. If you're folding it, whoops, I did it backwards this way. I don't want this to show when I want the paper to show. And if you were to use a full layer like we quite often do, here, when you put it on, it's going to show. So, thus, that's why that one is a bit smaller. And if you needed more room to write, of course, you could could make it bigger if that's what you wanted. But, but there is our card. So now, I will use the stamp and seal and put this on the card base. And. So let me know in the comments, do you have graduation happening in your part of the world where you are? And if so, what are they doing? I was, like I say, we got to watch my, my great niece and it was very special. They were outside, they had to stay in the car or their parents did and you could hear horns blowing all over the place because of course they were proud of them. But the... Um, the grads themselves with their their nice dresses and everything were able to walk across stage and get their their diploma of course with the the masks on we did receive a couple pictures afterwards uh, that they had taken as a family of course so so that was pretty special so i have a hmm, didn't put a piece on there inch and a half wide is the belly band that i'm doing and Frenchie said to make it the full 11 inches. I found that didn't didn't work in my world because I wanted the center or the the closure piece here so I could put my words across it. So I shortened mine to 10 inches. But it's whatever works for you. And the other thing that recently we have learned is that um, we don't score that prior to folding it around, but see this is where I wanted my um, pieces to meet. If you put your bone folder in here, it will give it just enough extra space so that you can slide it on and off without a lot of difficulty. So that's what, and thanks to Lillian for that tidbit. 
So I did use tear and tape on the ends of these because I wanted to make sure it was going to hold and I'm assuming that whoever receives it is going to open it and read what I wrote. So let's put it on the right side for a change. Hey, I'm gonna say that doesn't look right. It's got to go over here. Just trying to uh, make sure that in the camera. Then I'm just going to peel these off and I'm going to make sure, keep my bone folder in there for that extra little bit of, of space and then, see it's already not straight, line up these so they match. Get my bone folder out and then you can see you've got enough <coughs> wiggle room for it to to move. I did use I did use dimensionals to attach this and otherwise I didn't put a lot of other layers. Um, I know you could have put where the white is inside there we could have put more layers but being quite careful that if I'm going to be mailing this, which I probably will. I don't want it to be too thick to go in the mail. So that's why I didn't do that. And then for a little bit of glitz, I use the opal rounds. And I really like how they seem to pick up just whatever color they're with. So like to me, that looks like a purple. And they come in two different sizes in this package. So my rule of three is use three and there is our card. So let me know what you think. If you'll be making some, we um, that's the other thing I meant to mention in the beginning and I forgot. We do have a designer series paper sale coming. I just received today the information as to what packages it is. It's not everything. But there are, I think there's eight, not positive. A um, couple of you that are demonstrators on here, if you want to, uh, to let us know how many there is, I will be sending out an email. If you're not on my email list, I'd love to uh, share things with you. Oh, did that wrong. Quit talking and do what you're supposed to here supposed to have the glue on the envelope. That piece I've been uh, using six by two and a half. Okay. Now when you do something like that, obviously I, and I stuck that in it, Ugh. if I use my uh, silicone mat I can still put this down the way I want it to go and it's not going to stick to my my cutting mat I'm just gonna leave that for a minute to dry and I will trim it before we're done but I want to show you the other cards I made today using the same pattern but different paper so this one is the peach so same Basically the same thing, just with, and you can see how different they look when you have different colors and different designer paper. So I have that one, I have this one, which is one of the retiring papers, done with the same format, but different colors. Um, and of course, I like them all, but I think the glue is winning. Yes, Terry, I think it is too. <laughs> um, so let me know which one you like. And then this is the masculine one I made. I thought this paper did quite... I can't get the... Maybe the glue really won on this one, Terry. 
No. Well, I really want to show you the inside because I did something different on the inside of this one. I don't know why that one's so sticky. Other than this is specialty paper with um, um, glitz on it, so maybe it's a bit thicker. But I used this stamp set, which is a new one from, this is Frenchie's million dollar set actually, after the storm. And I thought this was quite uh, versatile and I used it like a, a starburst or sunburst, meaning you are absolutely amazing. The congratulations is from this million dollar set, which is still available to the end of the month. Um, great words in this one, and that's Jackie Boheis' set. So I will put that on, but you don't need to, to watch me struggle with that. And then these are a couple of cards made similar, but a little bit different, where you I did use the, the scallop border and just different... Uh, greeting labels and this one with just the plane so some great great ways to use your designer paper I was going to show you that's why this one's still open so I can what um, Tina Zink did was she had um, she had a little bit different I know what it was she started with having her cardstock be her folding piece and then she put designer paper on it but one of them she did this way and she adhered, glued this piece down, glued the edges of this down and she had it for a gift card pocket in here. So hi Judy, welcome. So lots of different ways you can use that particular fold. So what will happen here, now that it's glued and where it should be, is if you just trim around the envelope, you have a matching envelope for your for your card. So, so those are my samples for you tonight. So let me know what you think. Tell me what your favorite is. Tell me what you, or make one with, with some of your designer paper and share it in the post. I would um, love to see what you guys make. So, last week I did ask for posts of different cards, some with a punch, some with, oh, what were they, with using the green designer paper that's being retired. No one posted, so those cards are back in my stash, but I do have this one that I'm going to give away. So I'm going to take my iPad that has everybody's name on the wheel and see if I can find the right we'll do so you should be able to see that those are the people that that commented last week I'm going to spin and there's no sound because I've turned it down otherwise you hear double me so and we have a winner Pam yay Pam okay I will send that card out to you Pam can you please message me your mailing address and I will get it out to you as soon as I get that from you. And thank you to everyone for joining in tonight, commenting, taking part, and hopefully I will see you on Tuesday afternoon next week for a bit of a change there. Otherwise, please take part in that free shipping today. It doesn't happen very often with Stampin' Up! and I know you'll be happy with what you get from it. So. Thanks for coming. Take care. Bye now.